Hi everyone, just wanted to take a minute to talk about how to solve problems involving the angle addition postulate. So for those of you that remember um, from our video about the segment addition postulate, we were looking at what segments we can add together to make the whole segment. And the angle addition postulate is very similar to that in that now we're looking at parts of angles that we can add together to find um, the total angle measure or smaller parts of the total angle measure. So in this case, let's look at problem number 17 here. It's saying, find the measure of angle HIW. So HIW is this angle, all right? So that's the angle that we are trying to find the measure of. And we are given information that HIJ, so this part right here, this part I'm doing in blue, that we know, we know that this right here, this is 10x. And we're informed as well that HIJ is 145 degrees. Now HIJ is the entire angle here, right? It's the entire thing. We know the whole thing is 145 degrees. So we know this entire angle is 145, all right? And we know that this component over here is 10x. And then finally, it's going back and saying the measure of angle HIW is 2x plus 13. So let's just fill that last piece of information in. So this right here, I don't have enough room, so I'm going to write it over here, 2x plus 13. Okay, so now we have the initial information put in the correct locations. Um, and the big thing to be careful of is make sure when you are marking these down, you're marking down the correct angles. One of the biggest mistakes that people can make with this is that they um, accidentally do the wrong angles when they are uh, assigning values. So let's look at what we know. So we are know that the entire large angle is 145 degrees. And we know it's made up of two smaller angles. So HIJ is made up of HIW, of angle HIW, and angle um, WIJ. I just want to make sure I blend with the same ordering they did. Um, so we can add a, the measure of angle HIW and the measure of angle WIJ together to get the measure of angle HIJ. So let me just write that down, what I just said in words. So the measure of angle H, I, J, that is equal to the sum of the measure of angle H, I, W, plus the measure of angle W, I, J. All right, so that's what we know. And that's just from the angle addition postulate. That's all it's saying, that the bigger angle is made up of the sum of its parts. All right. We know that HIJ is 145. So I'm going to write 145 here. We know that um, the measure of angle HIW is 2x plus 13. So I'm going to write that. And we finally know that the measure of angle WIJ is 10x. So let's add that together as well. Okay, so 10x. Now, we need to combine like terms. The only things on this side that we can combine right now are the 2x and the 10x, which add together to make 12x. And then we still have the plus 13. We can't forget that. 13, whoa, terrible three, but 13. All right, now we need to isolate x. So we need to get x by itself. So to start by doing that, we'll use the, um, we'll subtract 13 from both sides, which we can do because of the properties of equality. So as long as we subtract it from both the sides, it's okay. Now I've run out of kind of room, so I'm gonna write it over here. So 145 minus 13 is going to be, 132, and then we still are left with 12x, all right? 
So now we need to get x by itself. So we can divide by 12. Divide by 12. So x, because 132 divided by 12, if you don't know that off the top of your head, you can um, use a, a calculator, but it is 11. Right? And if you can't remember that, 144 divided by 12 is 12. And 132 is 144 minus 12. So try and come up with some way to help remember that. So let's see if that's what it was asking for. It was not saying specifically just find x. However, we did need to find x to be able to determine the measure of HIW. So now to find the measure of angle HIW, I need to plug in the 11 into right here. So the measure of angle HIW is equal to 2. I'm not going to write x anymore. I'm going to write 11 because I know x is 11. plus 13, all right? Um, now two times 11 is 22 plus 13. And so when we add those together, we will get 35. Now if, um, because we're asking about an angle measure, we should include the degree symbol. Um, so ultimately when we are putting this together, we know that the measure of angle HIW is 35 degrees, uh, which is roughly, roughly cool what you could have guessed based on the picture. However, you always want to make sure you do it out algebraically. Um, the pictures are not usually drawn to scale, and they'll usually indicate to you that you can't just take a guess. All right? So if we then wanted to, we could also find uh, the remainder of this. Uh, the WIJ, the measure of that angle. When we plug in the 11, that'd be 110. And based on that, we know 110 plus 35 is 145. So we're all good. So to recap, all that we needed to do in this problem was we had to make sure we labeled correctly what we had. So we had to be careful with the angles. Remember, the vertex is always the middle uh, letter that is given. Um, so we had to correctly identify it. Then we had to make sure we use the, ang uh, the angle addition property correctly. So we had to add the two smaller angles together to make the bigger angle. Um, and then from there, it should just be a matter of simplifying and using your skills from algebra to solve everything. So please let me know if you have any questions. Um, and best of luck.